The scratch collapse test can be used to localize areas of incomplete release or recurrent scarring in patients with failed carpal tunnel releases. The use of ethyl chloride to temporarily anesthetize the skin superficial to the nerve of interest and freeze out a postural response will identify secondary areas of compression. This patient presented with bilateral issues. The hierarchical scratch collapse test with ethyl chloride revealed in this patient 1. Recurrent compression at the level of the carpal tunnel release in the left hand, and 2. An incomplete release, both proximal and distal, to the carpal ligament with distal intervertebral fascia in the right hand. This slide shows the order of which the test came out positive. The scratch collapse first tested at the left hand tunnel over the redo incision, the second in the right hand distal carpal tunnel, the third proximal carpal tunnel, and distal antibrachial fascia. All right, so um, uh, this woman had bilateral carpal tunnel and she had initially the left done and then the right and then the left redone. And her initial um, surgeries were through these little tiny ports here, so really mini um, uh, incision right over the median nerve. Now when she had that approach done over here, um, her symptoms didn't go away. And so then the same surgeon said, well, I'll make a longer incision. So I think what happened was that initially through that little incision, it's really difficult to get a really complete release of the entire flexor retinaculum and the distal antibrachial fascia. So I think the first problem is incomplete release, but now it's completely released for sure, but the incision's right on top of the median nerve. So I think that the scarring in there is tethering the nerve, and that's why you were getting the symptoms of zingers when you were doing this, or extra pain and numbness, especially into the thumb, which has the major twist on it. These guys kind of go out, and this goes twist on top of that, so that when she's doing her hand therapy, show me which position. Yeah, so when she comes into this reverse valence and she's canting her wrist back, that's when her symptoms get worse. Now it's possible that the scar, you know, still fresh surgery, that that will get better over time, but it's also possible that over time that will still stick in there and give you the problem. So my solution would be, if we do redo it, I make my incision quite a bit ulnar. But now I want to try the scratch collapse, and I'm going to be looking at uh, pushing on the pronator, scratching here, scratching here, and scratching here to see what's going on. And I like that um, ethyl chloride, I can have it too. So here we go with, give me a little bit of resistance, and try this pronator, and try this pronator, and I'm pushing because it's deep, and then this carpal tunnel, so we're all negative, proximal to the carpal tunnel on the left, negative, distal to the carpal tunnel on the left, negative, and right through that incision, positive. Okay, and be strong. If I blow on here, negative, here, and positive. Strong. So proximal, which is strong, distal, strong, out in the digital to the thumb, strong, right in the incision on the carpal tunnel, and she folds. Okay, now I'm going to freeze this out. Now, touch there, cured, kind of a little proximal, cured, pronator, no problem, distal, no problem. Now, what about over here? Strong, and now she pulls over there. Now, come over to this side, and let's see where, your, where the problem is here, okay? So we temporarily got rid of it here with that cold freeze, now strong. Now if I come proximal, you're strong. If I come distal, you fold, strong. If I come right where he operated, you're good. But distal, the very distal part, that's where you fold. Yeah. So be strong. So it's not a problem with you're too tight proximally, you're good there. But, and it's not where he had the scar, you're good there. But just distal to it, you fold. So distal incomplete release. Now what I want to do is I want to um, cover up that part and just freeze out that little area there, the distal part. Okay. Now if I touch you distal, you're good. I'm using another finger for where you operated. You're good. Proximal, you fold. 
So the main entrapment is distal, but the secondary is proximal to the surgery. Be strong.